In 2012, Jeffrey Hinton's team wins ImageNet with a neural network. Nobody cares except a few nerds. Fast forward to 2022, ChatGPT launches. Because I don't know if you've used this chatbot, but it is insane. 100 million users in two months, suddenly everyone cares. So that's probably uh, AI. And then the money starts flowing. OpenAI raises billions, Nvidia stock goes parabolic, every startup slaps AI powered on their landing page, VCs throw cash at anything with generative in their pitch deck. Microsoft bids $13 billion on OpenAI, Google panics and rushes barred out the door, Meta burns $200 billion on the metaverse and then pivots to AI. By 2024, AI companies have raised over $330 billion. NVIDIA briefly becomes the most valuable company on earth, 34% of the entire S&P 500. And that's when people start whispering the word bubble. We haven't seen the bubble burst. Bubble, we bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> so let's talk about the AI bubble, what it is, how to spot it, and how I try to build a little warning system to predict when the hype might actually get ahead of reality. So what's a bubble and what are the takes about it? A stock market bubble is a type of economic bubble taking place in stock markets, when market participants drive stock prices above their value in relation to some system of stock evaluation. Behavior finance theory attributes stock market bubbles to cognitive biases that lead to think groups and herd behavior. Nice. Now, what are the main takes about the AI bubble? Experts and non-experts fall into three major camps. Camp 1. The AI bubble is real and it will burst. Michael Berry. Yeah. The real big short guy went against AI favorites, Nvidia and Panantir. He disclosed put options with a notional value of about 187 million against Nvidia and 912 million against Panantir as of September 30. Mark Anderson has warned about the overvaluation of certain AI sectors, and David Sachs has publicly stated that most AI companies are burning cash with no path to profitability. Camp 2. It's not a bubble, and it's the beginning of a new era. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, keeps saying, The iPhone moment of AI has started. Sam Altman, another CEO, by the way, claims AGI just around the corner, and it could be worth tens of trillions. So these folks truly believe that the infrastructure spending now will look tiny compared to the value created. Camp 3. It is a bubble, but only a part of the market will collapse. 90% of companies will die, 10% will become trillion-dollar giants. So the overall market looks like a bubble, but the winners would be enormous. This is similar to the dot-com crash, like most companies died but Amazon and Google survived, crypto crashes, most coin vanished, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum stayed, and honestly, the current situation is wild. Deadass, Jim Scramer out there saying, I know that I am a believer. And, and Zuckerberg is like, And if we end up misspending a couple of hundred billion dollars, what I'd say is I actually think the risk is higher on the other side. Hmm. If you, if you um, build too slowly, and then super intelligence is possible. Get out! We got 800 million weekly ChatGPT users, but only 6% are paying. 6%. And don't even get me started on that creepy ass circle of money thingy, where NVIDIA investing in OpenAI, so OpenAI can buy NVIDIA chips. So NVIDIA can invest more in OpenAI, so OpenAI can buy more NVIDIA chips. So NVIDIA can invest more in OpenAI, so OpenAI can buy more NVIDIA chips. <laughs> Here's the scary part, the entire S&P 500 now is riding on it like seven companies. Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, Amazon, Google, Meta, and Tesla make up to 34% of the index. One of them sneezes, boom. And yeah, Nvidia is making 77 billion in cash flow, but they're throwing billions back into AI startups just to keep the demand alive. Here's the thing, I got tired of hot takes, so I built the whole fucking system to measure if we're really in an AI bubble and how big it's blown up. The project started with a simple idea. When the world can't stop talking about AI, markets and sentiment tend to overheat, so I went hunting for the chatter. I pulled data from a lot of Reddit threads, ArcSIF papers, SEC filings, GitHub and Hugging Face start spiking, while actual enterprise pilots sit at 95% profitable. Because if there is a spike in AI headlines in 12 languages at 3 a.m., I want to know that. I grabbed articles, scored their sentiment, and bent everything into a neat six hour intervals. The can that skipped the feeds consistent and gave me a time grid to align other sources like the ArcSiv activity. The features I built were straightforward but effective. How many AI articles are popping up, how positive or negative they are on average, and how that sentiment is changing over time. Now, labeling. 
I set up a rule to label mini crashes by detecting short-term drawdowns tuning, a drop threshold to catch meaningful dips over one to three days without flagging every normal wiggle. That gave me a map of hot zones versus chill periods, and I used that to train a model that outputs probabilities. Calibration was the unsung hero, and this thing took most of my time. I switched to sigma calibration to smooth things out so the probabilities actually meant something that made the output kinda usable. From there, it was pipeline time. I stitched data fetching, feature building, training, calibration, and evaluation into a clean flow with reproducible output plots. So what did I end up with? This is the plot for December 2023, and this is the plot of October 2025. See that spike? Yeah. That's probably from everyone screaming, The, the bubble, bubble will, will burst. burst. And got confused by people talking about it. Now look, I know the counter argument, but the internet didn't make money at first either. Which didn't prevent 99% of dot com companies from evaporating. But, and this is a big but, my detector doesn't say it's all fake. AI is improving. Image gen went from demonic baby hands to uh, that shitty Coca Cola commercial. So is it a bubble? Yes, 100%, but it might be a good bubble. Like the biotech bubble in the 90s, most companies died, but we got life saving drugs. Maybe here we get safe driving cars, cancer curing models, AI that actually helps teachers instead of replacing them, and companies like wherever the AI version pet.com is, vanish, and the money flows to companies that really deserve it. But right now, we're in the froth phase, where money flows faster than logic. So what's my call? Don't you only rent it to NVIDIA stock, but also don't scream scam like etc.